We're counting down the top 10 stories of 2023 here at Yahoo Finance, and coming in at number two is the Fed. Over the past year, we've taken forceful actions to tighten the stance of monetary policy. Do you know how many people who are currently working, going about their lives, will lose their jobs? I don't have that number in front of me. It's in your report, and that would be about two million people. The Fed never promises anything. <laughs> the Fed probably has overdone it. The Fed is feeling really good about the fact that inflation is coming down. We are leaving 2023 in a much better place than most commentators, and probably even the Fed, thought we would. The Federal Reserve had a lot of battles to fight this year, from stubborn inflation to questioning economists and angry legislators. Here to break down the ups and downs for the FOMC and its chair, Jerome Powell, is Yahoo Finance's Fed reporter, Jennifer Schoenberger. Hey, Jen. Hey, Brad. What a difference a year makes for the Fed. The central bank began 2023 slowing the pace of its most aggressive rate hiking campaign to cool inflation since the 1980s. Now, as 2023 comes to an end, that campaign appears to be all but over. The Fed last raised rates in July to a 22-year high. But after holding rates steady for their third consecutive meeting this month, Fed officials predicted they would likely cut rates three times in 2024. The reason? Inflation is falling closer and closer to the Fed's target of 2%. Even Fed Chair Jay Powell, after months of sounding hawkish, turned slightly dovish at his last press conference of the year. Take a listen. You see that people are not writing down rate hikes. That's that's us thinking that we have done enough, but not not feeling that really strongly, confidently, and not wanting to take the possibility of a rate hike off the table. Nonetheless, it's not the base case anymore. This pivot was months in the making. Fed officials warned for much of the second half of the year that they would need to see further progress that inflation was coming down before they could stop raising rates. Pell himself offered several warnings. At uh, last year's Jackson Hole Symposium, I delivered a brief direct message. My remarks this year will be a bit longer, but the message is the same. It is the Fed's job to bring inflation down to our 2% goal, and we will do so. Another warning came in September. Given how far we have come, we are in a position to proceed carefully as we assess the incoming data and the evolving outlook and risks. And yet a third came on the first of this month. It would be premature to conclude with confidence that we have achieved a sufficiently restrictive stance or to speculate on po when policy might ease. The shift that happened this week took many by surprise. It comes after several data points show inflation continues to drop slowly. Powell said at his press conference this week that rate cuts will be a topic of discussion looking ahead.